All right, here with Jeff Mayweather. Uh, Jeff, tough past weekend here out there in uh, Denver. You're with Chop Chop Corley. Um, unfortunately, he retired in the stool between the sixth and seventh rounds. Uh, I know it was a difficult fight, difficult camp for Chop Chop, then going up there, high elevation. Uh, just tell us about, you know, your thoughts on the fight and how it all went down. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, I was actually, I was proud of Chop Chop. You know, um, I mean, he fought gallantly, and um, it was give and take. I mean, I don't know who, who got a chance to see it, but whoever got a chance to see it, they know that, I mean, both guys gave it everything they had. Um, you know, and um, while we were training up there, of course, I mean, we were training inside. The weather was nuts. I mean, it was four seasons in two weeks. I mean, we had hail, sleet, uh, snow, nice sunny days. I mean, every day, every day I woke up, I didn't know what the weather was going to be like. I saw your Facebook post. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, yeah, I mean, and you know, and so, not saying that, you know. I'm, I'm not going to say that the weather had a whole lot to do with the fight, but by the time Chop Chop and uh, Manny Perez entered the ring, it was probably about 30 degrees outside. I mean, it was, I mean, it was freezing. It was freezing so much that when every time I touched the water bottle, I didn't even want to, I mean, my hands were freezing, you know. And so, I mean, it was, I mean, like I said, it was a chaotic, it was chaotic all week because we didn't know what to prepare for, and I just kept telling the um, promoter, I said, do you have a backup plan? And he didn't have really a backup plan. I mean, they said that they were going to put a 10 up and things like that, but they just basically relied on um, the weather, you know, being that it was supposed to be like 85 degrees or 70 degrees or something, but that didn't happen. I mean, for a second, it was really, really nice outside. And like I said, by the time we came outside, it was freezing. It was, it was, you know, it was, it was freezing. But you know, I mean, like I said, I mean, chop chop. I mean, he fought well, but um, you know, and um, I think the difference is, is that fight boxing in the gym as opposed to boxing outside, you know, made a difference. You know, I don't, you know, I'm not giving him an excuse or anything because altitude affects people differently. Like myself. I used to go to Big Bear. I used to go. To, I went to Altame, you know, where the altitude is much, much higher, and it never bothered me. So altitude has never bothered me, but I'm not a fighter, so I'm not a fighter anymore. So, um, you know, I don't know. I mean, he, he came back to the corner, and I thought he said, um, I thought he said, I got him, you know, something, something like that. So I was excited because, you know, I mean, the fight was going a war, and I thought that he'd seen something in the, in the guy that, you know, ready for him to, you know, to, you know, to attack something in the fight. But actually what he said was, um, actually what he said was, you know, that's it, or... or I, you know, I think he said, stop, stop this, and he thought he said, I yeah, got this. Yeah, stop, it? yeah, yeah, stop, yeah, stop it. And whatever, and so I was kind of I was kind of shocked, but at the same time I was, I understood it because I mean it was give and take, and I mean when he came back to the corner he was breathing very hard and you know and so I mean you know I think the altitude did affect him, you know and um, I mean Chop Chop's 40 years old, you know. How hard is that? I mean it's certainly you know I'm, not, I'm certainly not one to call his his heart into question. Guys had you know been a world champion had 60 fights, but you know, retire on the stool for a lot of people, that's... I mean, don't get know. me wrong, I mean, that's the one thing that, you know, as a fighter, anytime you retire on the stool, I mean, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good to the fans, it doesn't look good to anyone, really. But, um, you know, but it is what it is. I mean, I wasn't in there, I wasn't taking the punches, so, you know, I don't know. I mean, of course, I would like to think that, I would like to think that, you know, I would rather go out on my shield, but... Mm -hmm. Most fighters say that, but most fighters won't. <laughs> now, fighting Denver, obviously, like you said, the, the elevation is crazy up there. He had a foot injury um, in the weeks leading up to the fight. Did that, the lack of not being able to do cardio and prepare here, um, lead to maybe his demise there? Or you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think that that could have been, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a type of trainer that make excuses for fighters. So, 
you know, I just know that when we were here in Vegas and when I was working with him, he couldn't back up. You know, I would put pressure on him because I figured that he was going to be fighting. Since he's fighting a Mexican fighter, that the guy would be a comer. And so I, I tried to put pressure on him, and he couldn't really move. He couldn't move at all backwards, you know. And I was like, you can't fight like this. And to be honest, one of his, um, one of the guys that actually came down that worked with us, he asked me, he said, um, he said, you know, he heard about the situation. He said, um, you think Chop Chop's going to be able to fight? I said, no. I said, I'm be honest, I don't think so. I said, two weeks, you know, and after getting a chance to see the injury to his foot, I didn't think Dave was going to be able to fight at all. You know, but, um, but he, I mean, he did, he kept doing, you know, something to, to try to make it better. And, um, and so by, by the time the fight was, you know, we were sparring, we were sparring with some good fighters up there, and uh, he was more than, he was more than able to hold his own, so, you know, um, so I didn't, I didn't think too much about it. But um, at the end of the day, you know, um, like I said, he gave a gallant effort, you know, I'm proud of him. You know, I mean, like I said, you never want to see a fighter quit on the stool, but, you know, like I said, I wasn't in there, but I know, I know it was real rough going. And like I said, if, you know, I, I know a lot of people that when they fight in that high altitude, they're totally different. Well, he's on the wrong side of 40 now. Is this the last we've seen of him, or at least in, uh, you know, relevant fights? I mean, um, I mean, I, I can't really speak for Chop Chop. I mean, you know, um, you know, I can only say that once you get past 40, you're not going to get better. So the one thing is that I'm sure that he, you know, he's got he's to make a, a decision now, you know. And I mean, I think that he, he really has to look deep within himself because, you know, when you lose to a guy like Manny Perez, not saying that he's not, a, he's not a good fighter, but he's not a guy that, you know, that nobody knows, of, you know, anybody knows anything about. So... When you lose to guys like that, you know, you gotta you gotta really start thinking that it maybe it's time. Maybe it's time for me to, you know, do something else or you know. But um like I said, either way, I mean I support him either way. If he if he wants to fight again, I'll be here for him. Alright man, appreciate it. Alright. Jump.